Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Did you know that in addition to your Mac trash down here, that iPhoto actually keeps its own trash? Somehow, I didn't know this until just the other day. So what this means is if you load a bunch of photos from your camera and delete half of them because they're out of focus or you had duplicates or something, you may have you may be using up a lot of your disk space in the iPhoto trash. In my example here, I just have three photos in there, and I'm going to show you how to clean it out. It ends up it's a two-step process to reclaim all your disk space. Well, as usual, there's more than one way to do it in iPhoto. You'll notice there's an empty trash button over here, or if you don't want to take the mouse all the way over there, you can always control click there and select empty trash. Or a third way, up in the iPhoto menu, empty iPhoto trash. Now, before I do this, you'll notice my Mac trash can is empty. But watch what happens when I select empty iPhoto trash. Are you sure you want to do it? Yes. So my iPhoto trash is now empty. But there's trash down in the Mac trash. So let me open that up. And you'll see it just shows up as an iPhoto folder. But uh, to actually reclaim my disk space, I'll need to then go up to the Finder menu and empty the Mac trash. Now I've cleared out those photos for good. So I hope that helps you reclaim some of your disk space. I know that I'm always running low.